What's going on guys? It's Tenedoro for the nerdherd.com for another Ragnarok Odyssey video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the warrior class. Um, the class itself is uh, a two-handed giant sword wheeling tanking heavy duty smashing character. So let's go ahead and take a look at the equipment before I start the quest. So you see the warrior class uses the two-handed swords. Um, some of those swords have different attributes. You can add elements to them such as the Ken two-handed sword. Uh, I'm not gonna use this one because I don't like the negative aspect to it. You lose um, critical attack. I, I kind of rely on that a lot. And also the damage isn't as much as it can be. The one I'm currently using is the UIR two-handed sword plus three. So this one has 61 attack, uh, guard level up and defense level up. Um, you're gonna need that defense because what the warrior class has uh, or made special about it is that it can actually block and it's one of the only classes that can block. Um, I have equipped the Swordman armor and I um, enchanted it, well not enchanted it, I uh, added slots to it so I can have, I believe it's 45 card slots and um, yeah, this is 1500, 1500 Zenny in the uh, tailor so you should use these um, outfits other than the stock ones since it adds a lot more to your character it also gives you nice um uh skills i'm sorry with the outfit so i have stun resist i also have attack sub defense up and worker spirit of course these are all of my cards so this is what my cards give the outfit so take a look at the cards that i have equipped I'm also using the uh, Knight's Helm. Doesn't give you anything added to it, but it looks well. It looks very nice. See if I can get in there. Doesn't look bad at all. Okay, and the cards that I'm using. The first I'm using is the Hunter card because it gives me attack level one, which I kind of like. And it's only it only costs five, five of the uh, for card cost. I use the Sword Warrior card because it gives me resistance for stunts. Or stun resist, I'm sorry. I use the cleric card because it gives me plus one defense. Uh, Swordman card gives me plus two attack. I lose the defense, which gets countered by the cleric card. Um, the orc card gives me orcish spirit, which increases my attack power and max HP. So I have, oh, sorry, I have more HP than normal. Um, Swordman, orc card. And I use just a regular orc card. This one gives me attack level one. Okay, so I could add other cards. I was thinking of using, um, what was it? Of using the Hammersmith card for the critical attack. And I really wanted to try out the, uh, if I can find it, which one is it? This one, the Moi Moi card, because it gives me an added um, quick step. Um, kind of like that, but I'm going to keep that for when I'm using the Assassin class. All right, so let's figure out a quest here. I'm going to just take one so that you can see how the uh, Warrior class plays out. Um, I'm going to carry some potions. Keep that with me. And... Let's do the Orc King. Um, when I first tried fighting the Orc King, I used the Hunter. And it took me about 16 minutes to kill the Orc King. And roughly 8 tries, um, I just kept getting knocked out by it because it was just so powerful. Um, I have been able to defeat it with the Swordmaster in about 7 minutes. It's really that much easier to do once you have the, um, once you start doing like real damage to it. So as you see here, you're using like the giant two-handed sword. And your main point is just to just wreck damage. And you see how little damage it did to me? That is because the, you see that? I just blocked. Um, and I didn't have to block, I'm just doing it just so you can see, you know. The kind of damage that I'm doing. And I already broke the horn. See he's doing so little damage to me. That I don't have to worry about um, taking anything.
just take a potion now, which I really didn't need to. See, I'm stunning it and I'm just doing so much damage to it. I'm stopping it from doing anything. And yeah, that was a very fast match. Um, I want to say three minutes, two minutes. Oh my god, a minute and 40 seconds. That was, yeah, so you see how much damage you can output with the, uh, with the sword master once you have like the correct cards equipped. Quests become a lot easier because you're able to do a lot more damage and take more damage. Um, also, that has to do with the fact that I've been able to upgrade a little bit more because I'm currently in Chapter 2 and I've been grinding a bit. But as you see here, the Warrior class is a very nice class. It, if you're looking for some, you know, that classic hack and slash um, fighting mode, you're definitely going to do very well with the Warrior, with the Sword Master class. Uh, okay, you're definitely going to do very well with the Sword Master class. So... That's pretty much all there is to it with the Sword Master. It's just the simple slashes with the heavy slash. It's not as fast as the Assassin, but you're able to chain up combos to do really good amount of damage in a very short amount of time. Alright guys, so this has been Atenadoro for the NerdHerd.com. Next episode, we'll take a look at the Mage. Okay, so until next time, we'll see you later.